everyone, Primer here and welcome back to Armored Warfare. It took me a while to get this video out, but we are back on track and we are going to kick it off in a special way. In today's video, we are going to talk about the worst 10 vehicles in Armored Warfare regarding PvP and why they are on this list. Some vehicles might come as a surprise to some, other ones not so much. But before we begin, I'd like to say that this list was compiled based on a combination between server statistics and my personal experience and opinion. If you disagree with my choices or you think that I should have included other vehicles, then I would love to hear your opinion in the comments section down below. Also, this list is meant for PvP, but if you'd like to see another one done for PvE, then let me know in the comments below. And now, let's begin. In the number 10 spot, we've got the tier 10 MBT, the Type 99A2. Now, some of you might think that I've lost it, but this vehicle has one of the lowest win rates for high tier vehicles. When the Type 99A2 got released, almost two years back, it was a powerhouse. So much so that people labeled it as overpowered and raged about it. However, since then, the type didn't receive any major changes, and while the meta around it evolved, like some vehicles getting the super APS and other getting more penetration, the type really struggled to keep up. As the time went by, people started to learn how to fight it effectively, and the type lost its edge. There's a bit of good news here, which is my games, formerly known as MyCom, recognize the poor performance of the type 1992, and they are willing to do something about it. But until then, it will stay in the number 10 spot on this list. Moving on to number 9, we've got the tier 8 premium tank destroyer, the Terminator prototype. Similar to the Type 1992 situation, the Terminator prototype used to be a very good vehicle, but a competition from similar vehicles like the Ramcar 99 and the Terminator model 2017 made this vehicle fall behind. When compared to the other two, the Ramka has far more armor, and unlike the prototype, it gets access to the very effective Thermobarics 80 gems. The Model 2017 has even more armor than the Ramka, and it uses the Tier 9 ammo as well as Thermobarics. This left the Terminator prototype behind and gave people no reason to play it, outside of from being a premium vehicle and for those who do not have the Model 2017. At number 8, we've got the Tier 7 AFV, the Rosumac. While this vehicle gets access to pelly rounds at tier 7, it lacks the means to be able to deal with heavily armored targets frontally. It has a huge profile for an AFV and its acceleration is slow at lower speed. Combine that with the auto cannon that drops your concealment to zero after firing just a couple of rounds and you will see why this vehicle is not great. It is limited to 540 rounds in total, making them too valuable to be wasted at the front for well armored targets. In my opinion, this vehicle should be switched with the Tier 6 BVP-M2, which is a vehicle that comes before the Rosa Mac. Moving on to spot number 7, we've got the Tier 6 Premium MBT, the XM1. The XM1 offers fairly good mobility for an MBT, but that's pretty much it. Its upper front plate is extremely prone to heat and hash, combine that with the mediocre gun, damage per minute and poor armor, and you will see why this vehicle has earned its spot on the list. It really struggles when it's not top tier, and it's really unforgiving for new players. Many players got this tank for free when it became a premium, otherwise I cannot think of a reason to buy one in its current state outside from just collecting tanks. Moving on to spot number 6 on the list, we've got the tier 5 MBT, the T72. Where do I start about this tank? It has a decent turret armor for its tier and an okay DPM, but that's pretty much it. Its whole armor is terrible, so it's gun handling, it is slow, and it takes forever to turn around. You know, all the typical things that you find on a terrible MBT. Which is why this vehicle has one of the lowest win rates at tier 5. There is absolutely no reason to play it other than being a stepping stone toward the T90A1, which is a much better vehicle tier for tier. Number 5 in our list is the tier 4 premium MBT, the IS-7. This tank used to be somewhat decent at tier 3, but since it was moved to tier 4, the tank started to underperform, mainly because they did not adjust its armor when it was up tiered. The IS-7's gun handling is awful, so its mobility, and I can think of a bunch of other vehicles at tier 4 that I would rather be playing instead of the IS-7. It is a cool looking tank nonetheless, and I think it should be added to your collection if you're into that sort of things. At spot number 4, we have the tier 4 premium MBT, the Object 430. 
It is one of the oldest premium vehicles in armored warfare and similar to the IS-7, it was a tier 3 before it was up tier to tier 4 without a valid explanation. The tank suffers in many aspects like in protection and firepower and it's almost as slow as the IS-7 while having way less armor and less powerful gun. Since it's a premium tank you can just avoid it altogether unless you are a tank collector like me and must have every tank in the game. Moving on to the third spot on our list, we've got the tier 8 premium MBT, the M1A1 AIM. This tank is basically the tier 7 M1A1 with a more patriotic paint job and extra 15 damage per minute. Not 15%, no, just 15, you heard that right. Now to be fair, the AIM does have a soft kill APS, marginally better hit points, view range and gun handling, but when you stop to think that this vehicle could meet tier 10, while only having a tier 7 gun, then things start to get ugly really quickly. The only way to fix this tank is to move it down to tier 7, and even then, it won't be that great of a tank. Moving on to spot number 2 on our list, we've got the tier 6 tank destroyer, the Swingfire. While this tank has earned a nasty reputation in PvE for being ridiculously overpowered when driven by bots, in PvP it's, well, no more than a cardboard box that shoots missiles into low earth orbit and awaits for them to come back down at a speed slower than some of the lower tier ADGMs. All jokes aside though, the swing fire has some of the most dangerous ADGMs in armored warfare, but the fact that they launch at a 45 degree angle and are really slow makes playing the swing fire really tricky. Oh, and you can forget about any close quarter combat when playing in it. Personally, I don't see how this vehicle can be fixed outside from giving it faster rated gems that can come back down a lot faster. And now before we get to the number one spot, here are a few honorable mentions that didn't make it to our list. The tier 6 premium MBT, the MBT-70, came close to be on the list, but its saving grace was its hydronomatic suspension that it received earlier this year, giving it 14 degrees of gun depression to be able to work ridge lines. Unlike the Kampfpanzer 70, the MBT-70 does not get access to the high explosive rounds and it gets access to 8 gems instead. 152mm HE rounds at tier 6 are very effective and the inability for the MBT-70 to use them makes it fall behind its sibling, the Kampfpanzer 70. It is also worth mentioning that both tanks armor is nothing special and their gun handling is really awful. Our second honorable mention goes toward the tier 7 premium MBT, the M60-2000. This tier 7 MBT uses the exact same hull found on the tier 4 MBT, the M60-A1, and combines it with the cut down version of the M1-A1's turret. Despite being on the slower side when it comes to mobility, the gun on the M60-2000 is really good. Having a great penetration value, DPM and accuracy somewhat makes up for the downsides of this tank. However, if you are into that playstyle, then I would recommend you pick up the Sabra Mark II instead as it can do everything the M60-2000 can do, but much better. And now to the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one spot on our list goes to the king of the terrible valley, the worst vehicle in armored warfare statistically and based on a personal experience, ladies and gentlemen, Please let me introduce you to the one and only, the tier 5 AFV, the OT-64 Cobra. A machine with a name that is scarier than its armament. This vehicle is so bad that it became a meme for the armored warfare community. This thing is so huge that you can fire in its general direction and still hit it. The auto cannon is slow and firing a couple shots from it will drop your non-existent camouflage to zero and if you decide to use the ADGM, then you'll be able to make yourself a cup of tea before that missile reaches target. The OT-64, which is an AFV, mind you that, is so slow to get behind cover if it was spotted and that if you can find a cover that is large enough for it. Not everything's bad news though, as this vehicle might receive a significant buff, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to take it off this list. And that's going to be it for today's video, I hope you all enjoyed it, or found it interesting at least. And if you'd like to see similar style videos like this in the future, then be sure to leave this video a like and to subscribe to the channel for more Armored Warfare content. Thank you all for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.